In this video, we're going to configure in4p list and we're going to do something about our app transfer security uh, policy error that we've got here. And the reason we've got this error message is that uh, uh, we are using insecure uh, connection or communication between our app and uh, my uh, web server uh, running on Amazon web, ser uh, web services. And um, if if you run it over HTTPS and if uh, you do use TSL, then everything is going to be okay. Basically, if you install SSL certificate and use a secure connection between your mobile application and web server, then everything is going to be okay. But I do not use uh, SSL certificates. I don't have them installed. I don't have it installed and I'm not sending HTTP request over HTTPS here. So this is why I got this error message, but we can uh, avoid it. Although Apple um, does not recommend us to use insecure uh, communication between app and the server, Apple enforces uh, app transfer security policy over apps now since iOS 9, and they enforce us to always, always use uh, SSL and TSL uh, communication, secured communication, which is which is very good. So, but for now, uh, let's switch to uh, info p list. Here, uh, look for it on the left side, and uh, we will need to click on information property list here, and then um, the very the very first line, and then click on this plus button here. Once we do that, we can look for app transport app space transport security settings so the very first one uh, we will select it uh, make it selected and then we will add on the plus button on the app transfer security settings and uh, once we do that uh, we'll get a drop down list with allow arbitrary loads first option i'll select that and set it to yes so uh, this should allow us to send HTTP request and make our app communicate over HTTP ad, I mean over HTTP uh, with our remote server. Uh, this connection is not going to be secure. Uh, it, it, it's not going to use SSL, so uh, it can be accepted, but that's uh, okay for a while uh, for this purpose. But uh, when you build your server, please make sure that you have all of your HTTP requests go over um, HTTPS. Okay, so let's run it now and see if this helped. I'll stop application and I will uh, run it again and see which of these breakpoints will trigger. Okay, we've got token data, I'll play it. And here we go. Uh, we don't have an error message anymore. We got a response from our server. And if we play and just uh, see what was that, and the response is going to be printed out here. And we have an error message. Uh, we have uh, connect failed, access denied for user, APNs user at localhost. Yes, uh, this is correct. And this is because um, I did not provide correct username and password uh, in my APNs file. So here I have APNs user and APNs password. So these are not correct in my case. Uh, once I specify a correct username and password and upload this APN file to my server, everything uh, should work. So uh, let me do that and we will continue. 